Welcome, this is Metacosis Perfectionalis. Now, let's talk about hepato renal syndrome. In a previous video, I explained the mechanism of hepatopulmonary syndrome, so please go ahead and watch that video first before watching this video. The link will be in the description. Let's get started. So, hepatorenal syndrome, the problem starts in the liver, since hepato, leading to a problem in the kidney, since renal. So, the liver either has cirrhosis or maybe fulminant liver failure or any damage that's severe enough can lead the liver to secrete kind of a vasodilator material such as nitric oxide, which will lead to vaso vasodilatation of the blood vessels, and this will lead to hypotension. So, the heart will respond by increasing the speed of the circulation. This is kind of similar to high output cardiac failure. But this vasodilation will lead to hypotension and the, the, the organ that's most affected by the hypotension, of course, is the kidney. The kidney without tension, like blood pressure, is like a fish without water. The kidney without blood pressure is like screwed. So, this pressure going into the abdominal aorta and the renal artery will decrease. Okay, so blood will go inside the renal artery and then to the kidney. But there is a response to that. What is the res response? So let's go ahead and zoom in one of the glomeruli. Here is the afferent arterial, here is the efferent arterial. The kidney will sense that the blood coming through the afferent arterial is decreased, so it will secrete renin through the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, the renin will do two things. It will increase salt and water reabsorption. This will lead to, guess what? Ascites. Correct. What else? It will lead to vasoconstriction of the efferent arterial, and this will lead to the a lot of symptoms in the kidney and kidney damage, which is basically what happened in hepatorenal syndrome. So hepatorenal syndrome is hepatic problem leading to a renal problem via vasoconstriction and hypotension. You will have ascites and also you'll have um, portal hypertension and you'll have damaged kidney and decreased kidney function and elevated BUN and creatinine. Thank you.